You are a boy. There are five questions I always ask myself for every line, every script, every character that I play. It is who am I? Where am I going? Who do I expect to meet? And the last two are the most important. What do I want? And to what extent am I willing to go to get it? I'm a man. Um, and that particular speech, what Rowan wants is to let Fitz know who he thinks he is. Money, you spoiled, entitled, ungrateful little brat. My father was in the army, he was a captain in the army, so I understand how difficult it was for a black man um, in, the, in the 50s to sort of achieve any kind of success in the military. So for this particular black individual to achieve <laughs> being the most powerful man in terms of B613 in America, what he must have had to go through must have been tremendous. I am actually, quite literally, above your pay grade, which means that I know that you believe that you are in love with her, as wrong as you may be. I do love her. You love that she is a door-marked exit. Part of what I use for Rowan is um, what um, Bledsoe, which is a character in Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man says to the Invisible Man right before he throws him out of school. He says, I'm going to send you to New York and what you need to do is you need to make sure that you know the lay of the land, see where you are. You need to sort of gain um, power and influence and then you need to move back into the shadows and use it. And that's who Rowan is.